Okay, just, uh, just talk about the overall excitement level of you and your team. Uh, it took a little bit for to see your name finally pop up there on the board. But... We're, we're wondering when it was going to come, you know. It's uh, a little anxiety going there, but uh, we're very excited to make the tournament, uh, play a good Gulf Coast team, and, uh, you know, everybody at this level is good, so we're, we're fired up and ready to play. We had a good turnout here, and I know our fans are excited as well. You guys feel like you've been able to use this time to kind of fix the little things and maybe just prepare the girls for, you know, th this next part of kind of like a brand new season all over again with the NCAA tournament. You know, we gave uh, two days off prior to the Big 12 tournament, and then we gave two days off as soon as we got done with the Big 12 tournament, just trying to get rejuvenated and get some fresh legs. And we've worked on some different things, and now it's uh, time to lock in on Florida Gulf Coast. Were you, uh, did you expect a five seed? Did you think you, that might be what you got, or did you have any thoughts on that? You know, I thought we'd get a five seed. You know, uh, out of our eight losses, five of our eight losses are to the conference champion, uh, West Virginia and Baylor. And then we lost to Iowa State, who made the tournament, Texas, who was a five seed, and, and Oklahoma on their home floor. So we thought we built a good resume, and we really didn't have a bad loss on a resume. Six Big 12 teams in, the number one RBI league in the country. you got to feel tournament ready here, about as good as you can. You know, I think uh, this league prepares you. Uh, you know, you see a little bit of everything. You see pressure man, TCU's got a great zone. You see saggy men out of Iowa State. So this league, uh, there's not too much that you haven't seen when you've gone through it. Um, what's it going to be like preparing for someone you haven't seen yet? Well, we'll just go to work on some film work tonight and start on a scouting report and then start uh, getting prepared for them tomorrow. Really don't know too much about them, but uh, I think that's probably the case on most of the teams in the NCAA tournament. So at this time, we're going to be scouting, I guess, two or three opponents. I mean, in this case, you guys won. Well, I think you got to do some work ahead. Uh, you know, our main priority is one at a time, getting locked in on Florida Gulf Coast, and then uh, uh, the next game, we'll have uh, scouts on both of those teams as well because it'll be a quick turnaround. Talk about uh, this team that you've been inconsistent with. Wins and losses keep alternating back and forth. What do you need to do to kind of get some consistency there? Obviously, you lose now in the season. Well, you know, uh, we feel like we played a lot better in the, the Big 12 tournament. Uh, after the first three or four minutes, we played uh, really well against Iowa State. And uh, we were very competitive in the Baylor game and had our chances to, to come out with the win there. But uh, uh, we got to shoot the basketball better. Uh, the games that we've lost, we haven't shot the ball very well. We got to shoot well at the free throw line, and uh, we got to get back defending the way we did against Iowa State in the semifinals, and uh, and we'll be fine. Guard play is always kind of critical in the postseason. It's good to have a senior point guard running that show for you. It is. Tiffany's uh, had a lot of experience, a lot of postseason experience, uh, as has Liz Donahoe and Brittany Martin. So we feel good about our guard play. Thank you very much. Thank you.